today we are going to be deep cleaning. I have been wanting to do a deep clean here for a while and I'm really excited to share with you a deep clean of my living room and then I'm also going to be cleaning my bathroom as well and sharing with you some cleaning tips and tricks that you can use throughout your house. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. I'm also going to show you how to clean your hairbrushes because I actually didn't really know that you were supposed to be cleaning your hairbrushes as often and and how to clean them and everything so I will be showing you that later in the video I'm gonna start here in my living room today like I said because we're gonna be doing a deep clean and I am going to be showing you like how to clean your baseboards so one way that you could clean your baseboards is you could just take your duster and run your duster along your baseboards you can also do it a couple of other different ways uh, today I am just going to be taking my duster and another time I will probably just be taking like a wet washcloth and going up and down my baseboards that way those are the two ways that I like to do it but this time I decided to just do a quick dusting because they didn't look that bad but sometimes you know when you when your baseboards get pretty dirty you can just take a wet rag or take some all-purpose cleaner on a rag and go up and down your baseboards that way so but one thing that I found out is when you are cleaning um, your baseboards. You want to do it about every time that you vacuum. I don't really clean them every time that I vacuum. It's probably every other time, but I do clean my baseboards fairly often just because I like how my baseboards look when they're nice and clean. So I'm just reminding you guys that that is one way that you can do it is just with a duster. I also like to take my vacuum cleaner here and use this little attachment and go around all the edges of my furniture, on my baseboards, and where my floor transitions from carpet to hardwood. So that's another thing that I like to do to keep my floors nice and clean because it just cleans up the edges because usually when you vacuum, the vacuum doesn't go, you know, go all the way up against the wall. So I like to take this little attachment here and just go around all the edges because it just it just makes it feel much cleaner and looks cleaner to me. So that is one thing that I like to do. All right, but let's jump on into the cleaning motivation and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. messy right now so I'm going to be taking my little vacuum piece here and I'm going to be vacuuming all the crumbs pine needles and anything that has fallen underneath my couch cushions here with this little attachment that came with my vacuum cleaner and then I have this one spot that wouldn't come up off of the bottom of my couch here when I was vacuuming it so I am going to get a rag and wipe that up because I actually don't quite know what this is. My kids do like to sneak food on the couch every once in a while and so they probably just got some kind of food and it's got smashed underneath here so I'm just going to wipe that up and then I'm going to vacuum the cushions on the back of my couch here and the arm of the couch and I'm going to do that on both couches today just because you know this keeps the dust, pet hair, you know all of that kind of stuff um, off of your couches so I like to do that fairly often just because it keeps everything nice and clean. Also, I like to vacuum my couch cushions as well. You can take the covers off and wash the covers, which I do that um, fairly often because I like my couches to smell nice and clean and everything and also keeps it just looking nice and fresh. But today I decided just to vacuum them and not take the covers off because I washed the covers not too long ago. I might end up taking um, the one cover off here because I found some food that my kids had eaten on the couch. Like I said, they like to sneak food and eat it on the couch when I'm outside working, you know, in my yard or something. So I'm going to try this spot shot stuff too see if this will get it off and everything so I found two spots one on each cushion so I'm going to take a second here to try to get this off and everything and I was able to get it off of the one cushion but I wasn't able to get it off of the other one so I actually am going to have to pull the cover off of this one and pop it into the washing machine just because I don't want it to set too long so I'm going to throw that in on the bottom of my washing machine with these pillows here and just run a quick load on a cold delicate cycle and then I will be moving on to my next project. <laughs> Yes. 
here to introduce myself for those of you who are new to my channel. My name is Justine and my channel is all about real life messes in a small house. So we are a family of five and we live in a 1200 square foot house. We have one bathroom and you know and I just want to share my real life messes with you guys like just letting you guys know that it's okay that your house is not picture perfect and it's not super duper clean all the time I know mine isn't because this is real life and it's okay my kids I you know we make messes and everything and I don't always get to it right away just because I am still working and all this other fun stuff so you know it's okay and I want to share my motivation with you guys and I also want to share some tips and tricks with you that I've learned along the way and new little things here and there and so I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel because I upload weekly so you guys will always have new content to watch and please leave me a comment down below to let me know you know who you guys are where you're from what you guys want to see all that fun stuff I would love to talk to you so please take a moment to do that and let's continue on with the rest of the video <laughs> mentioned earlier in my video about pulling the couches out away from the wall so usually when I pull my couches out away from the wall I find all kinds of like bouncy balls toys cards I mean stuff that just gets goes behind the couch and you know seems to get lost so this time I actually got pretty lucky and I didn't find a whole lot of the kids things that they had lost behind the couch so it was fairly clean but I do like to pull my furniture out and vacuum behind the couches every once in a while just because again you never know what you're gonna find back there and and also it helps keep, you know, the dust and stuff down. And like I said, taking my little tool here and going along all the edges. I try to do this like pretty much every time that I vacuum just because I like the edges of my carpet to be nice and clean. So I love that the shark comes with this little attachment it is perfect. And it just, it just really helps me get that nice clean look that, um, I really like for my carpets. So I'm pulling all the furniture away from the wall, vacuuming behind it, dusting the baseboards and getting that done today.
decided to move my entertainment center here and it is a little heavy so I just decided that I was going to leave it there and I was going to reach my duster behind it and underneath and try to get it as best as I could without having to move this piece of furniture because it is pretty heavy and I didn't uh, my husband was not home to help me take the TV off and move the entertainment center so I just decided to work around it today which you know is totally fine so you'll see me laying down here on the floor and I'm going to get all this stuff underneath there and everything so I think I did a pretty good job for not moving the furniture because I do know that sometimes you aren't able to move the furniture so just doing your best to get around it is totally fine and I got all the dusting done up high and everything like that because you do want to make sure that you do pay attention to your corners and the edge of your ceiling and your wall because that's usually where all your cobwebs you know uh end up so I try to you know take my duster and go along the edges and then another area that is usually uh <laughs> A clutter area is right here by my front door. We have a bunch of shoes and coats and everything. So this is one area that I think I'm going to be looking into to see if there are different ideas that I could be um, something to do differently to help, you know, get the shoes up off of the floor, maybe some coats or something. I'm thinking about putting some hooks on the wall here or maybe getting a shoe rack or something. It is kind of a small area. So I'm not quite exactly sure what to do here, but it's something that I might be looking into or I might just um, have us come in through the garage and then all our shoes and stuff will get left out there. So there's a couple of different things that I'm thinking about because I do know that the front door, this is where all the shoes and coats get left. And so I'm trying to think of some different ways so that we don't have a ton of shoes over here or a ton of coats because usually when my kids come in through the front door, they kick their shoes off, drop their coat, and away they go. Which, I mean, there is no place for you to hang it up because you do have to walk through the house and go hang it up in the garage. Um, so that is one area that I think I'm going to be doing some research on to see if I can make that a little bit more functional. Going to be sharing with you how to clean your hairbrushes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comb here and it does have a very fine point on it and I'm going to pick all the hair off that I can off of the brush. You want to try to get as much of it off as possible. You know so if you can get all of it that's absolutely great. If you have a couple of strands that get left on there 
that'll be okay too. We'll, we, we should be able to wash those off. So I'm going to take this, pull all the hair off of all of the brushes here. And then once I have all the hair off, I'm going to put them in the sink with some hot water and some dish soap. And I'm going to swish that around. I'm going to use my hand and brush as much of that soap, you know, because you want to get the buildup off of the bristles. So I'm going to, to scrub a little bit on the bristles, try to get as much of that buildup off because depending on what you put in your hair and your scalp and everything, so you want to get that nice and clean. And then I'm going to let them soak for about 20 to 30 minutes in the hot soapy water. And then you want to take them out, rinse them off and let them air dry. And let me tell you what, it's actually really cool because I, I didn't know that you were supposed to be cleaning your hairbrushes, to be honest with you. I've never cleaned my hairbrushes before. This was my first time. And your hairbrushes look so good when you pull them out and everything. You're going to see here in a little bit. They are just, it's like night and day. I didn't realize, you know, how much of a difference that it made. So, but I'm rinsing them off now, getting all the soap and everything off. And I will show you here in just a second, you know, how clean these brushes turned out. I was actually really surprised because again, this is something that I had heard uh, about, you know, cleaning your hairbrushes and stuff. And I was like, I've never cleaned my hairbrushes before, but they turned out so nice and they are so clean. So I'm really happy that this really simple trick, you know, of just taking the hair off, soaking them with hot soapy water for 30 minutes, you know, using your hand to scrub them a little bit, rinse them off and then let them air dry. And that's it. So it's fairly simple to clean your hairbrushes.
is all I have for you guys today. So I'm going to be ending this video with some laundry. I always have laundry going on in my house. So I decided to bring it all here in the living room and I'm going to sort and fold it. And I'm just going to watch a little bit of TV while I do it. That's usually what I do is I will wait and save my laundry and then I will just watch some TV or listen to some music or an audiobook or something while I'm doing some laundry here because I just find that it just makes it that much more enjoyable and then also I can look forward to catching up on my latest show or something like that. So I try to make laundry fun just because there is a lot of it. I mean I do a lot of laundry for you know there's five of us in the house so I mean we do go through quite a bit of it. But I want to take this time to thank you guys so much for watching my channel and for everything. You guys are amazing and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And please subscribe to my channel, like, and leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys all soon with another video. So until next time, bye.